Let's be real, just slapping a best overall label on something means nothing if it doesn't actually protect you. A solid antivirus needs to do three things really well. It needs to block malware before it even touches your system, run quietly in the background without slowing your PC to a crawl, and not flood you with pop-ups every five minutes. That's it. Pretty simple. Some antivirus programs do this flawlessly, while others, well, let's just say they're a lot better at selling subscriptions than actually stopping malware. So to separate the lifesavers from the letdowns, here's what actually matters. Malware detection. Can it stop ransomware, viruses, and phishing attacks before they ruin your day? Performance. Will it run smoothly in the background or turn your PC into a prehistoric relic? Features. Does it include useful extras like a firewall or a built-in VPN or just bloatware that you'll never touch? Pricing and value. Are you getting real security for your money or are you just paying for fancy marketing? Because let's be honest, some of these companies care more about upselling than actually keeping you safe. So let's find out which ones are worth it and which ones you should avoid, like that sketchy email you received from a Nigerian prince. Which antivirus actually delivers? All right, so we've set the rules, but now let's see which antivirus actually lives up to the hype and which ones are just glorified pop-up machines. First up on the list is Bitdefender, a name that's been at the top of independent security tests for years. But does it actually hold up in 2025? Well, let's see. It consistently scores 100% in independent lab tests, making it one of the most reliable antiviruses for blocking threats like ransomware, spyware, and keyloggers before they can do any damage. Bitdefender runs surprisingly light even during full system scans, and it uses less CPU than most full security suites. It includes real-time malware blocking, a strong built-in firewall, and ransomware remediation which can undo damage if ransomware ever gets through. Now, there is one drawback. It's not perfect. The VPN is capped at 200 megabytes per day, which is barely enough to check your email. So if you need a VPN, then you'll have to look elsewhere. Next up is Total AV. This one's marketed as an affordable, beginner-friendly antivirus that still packs premium security. But does a lower price mean lower protection? Well, let's break it down. Independent security labs consistently rank it highly for malware detection, proving that you don't have to spend a fortune to stay protected. Total AV's full scan is faster than most competitors, but there's a trade-off. CPU usage spikes at 90% during scans. If you're on an older PC, you might feel it. Total AV comes with real-time protection, anti-ransomware tools, and system optimization features to help clean up junk files and improve overall performance. Total AV loves to push add-ons like a VPN, dark web monitoring, and extra security features that you may or may not need. If you hate constant reminders to upgrade, this could get annoying pretty quickly. Next up, McAfee. It's been around forever, you've probably seen it pre-installed on a new laptop at some point, but in 2025, does it still hold up? Well, well, let's take a look. Independent lab tests confirm it blocks 99.9% .9 of threats, putting it right up there with the best antiviruses for malware protection. It still uses more resources than something like Bitdefender or Total AV, but on a high-end machine, you really won't notice it. It comes with a firewall, a password manager, and identity theft monitoring. The firewall is one of the best out there. It's customizable and strong against suspicious traffic. It also includes a VPN, and here's the good news, it's unlimited if you're on an auto renewing plan. That is way better than Bitdefender's 200 megabyte cap. Some features like identity theft monitoring are locked behind a more expensive plan. So before you buy, make sure you double check what's actually included with your plan. Now we'll look at Pandadome. It's not as big of a name as McAfee or Bitdefender, but it claims to offer top tier security with some unique features. Pandadome takes a different approach to malware detection. Instead of scanning everything locally, it relies on cloud-based detection meaning most of the scanning happens off of your device. Independent security tests show that Pandadome effectively blocks malware, though it's not quite at Bitdefender's level. The big advantage, it's very lightweight. It's one of the lightest antiviruses available. No lag, no slowdowns, no aggressive background processes that are hogging your CPU. It's USB protection.
connection. The second you plug in a flash drive to your device, it scans it for malware. There's also a process monitor to track suspicious programs, and if your system ever gets completely wrecked, the rescue kit lets you create a bootable recovery tool to fix it. Sounds great, right? Well, here's where things start to fall apart. The VPN is capped at 150 megabytes per day, which is barely enough to check your email. If you need a VPN, this just won't cut it. Pandadome has a free version, but honestly, it's way too basic. If you want full protection, you have to pay. Last on the list is Malwarebytes. It built its reputation as the go-to tool for malware removal, but does that mean it works as a full-fledged antivirus today in 2025? Malwarebytes is great for cleaning up infections, but when it comes to stopping threats before they happen, it's not the strongest option. Independent tests show that while its real-time protection works, it's a step behind leaders like Bitdefender and McAfee in proactive security. It's actually one of the lightest antiviruses on system resources. CPU usage stays low even during full system scans, and that makes it a great choice for older or low spec PCs. Malwarebytes keeps it fairly minimalistic. It has real-time protection, a solid browser extension for blocking ads and phishing sites, and basic web security. Malwarebytes is great at cleanup, but it's not the best at prevention. And it's also not the cheapest, especially considering the features that it lacks. For the same price, you could get Bitdefender or Total AV, which offer better all-around protection. All right, let's quickly recap because we just covered a lot of ground. If you want the absolute best protection, Bitdefender is the go-to. Need a more budget-friendly option? Well, Total AV delivers solid security without breaking the bank. Looking for a full security suite with an unlimited VPN? McAfee has you covered. Prefer a lightweight antivirus that won't slow you down? Well, Pandadome is the best for older PCs. Just need a simple tool to clean up your malware? Well, Malwarebytes still holds up in that case. But now it's over to you. Which antivirus do you trust for Windows 11? Drop your pick down in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. And if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, then be sure to check out the discount links down in the description because nobody likes paying full price. And if you're still wondering if Windows Defender is enough, then watch our full breakdown on its real world performance next. But that's all for this one. We'll see you in the next video.